I don't know about you, but I don't want nobody miscommunication with my life. So if you know that the patient is diagnosed, if you know that the patient has virus or is diagnosed with certain disorder, please give it to me and report or let the nurses know if this is serious administration or anybody. I just want to take this time to come out here and talk to you. But before I give you more information, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I know you saw the, the title on the video and you think I'm going to talk about hand washing. Now, you should know how to wash your hands by, no, by now, nurse. That's nursing 101. That's something you do every day at home. Now, I don't know about you, but when you go to the bathroom, that's wash your hands. So... I happened to see, I was strolling on doing some research, and in the news it says that a nurse was infected. And I wanted to come out here and tell you the reason why nurses get infected or, or catch something. And I don't want you to think that it's the hospital fault. Things, miscommunication. Let me tell you how the scenario is. You have, the reason why I'm doing this, because I want you to protect yourself. When you enter that hospital, before you even enter that hospital, your mindset should be universal precaution. You see those nurses that comes in, they wipe off the... Um, the counter using the um, alcohol or germicidal wipes. There's a reason that's their issue. There's, you might have pick up germs on your shoes, don't bring it home. You have a family, don't bring it home. But what I'm trying to say, it's easy to go to work and you are healthy when you enter the hospital and you're working around patient that has other illness. So this is how you get infected. Yeah, you did the right thing. You had your gown, you had your gloves, you had your mask, you had your security on and everything. And you felt like you did the right thing, which you did. But by the time and I'm just saying, here's the scenario. It's a scenario, my opinion. Sometimes the patient may has, have the symptoms of, it could be coronavirus, it could be pneumonia, whatever, cough, whatever, TB. They have the symptoms, but it's not diagnosed as yet. And so by the time... The communication with the lab result comes around. You may have already get infected or become more sick. And then you wonder, I come to work, I do my right thing. Why didn't they tell me this patient has the virus? It may have been a miscommunication. Easy. We have a system, all hospital has a system, and this may not be one of the system of being a critical lab. Because if it's a critical lab, then the lab have to pick up the phone and call the nurse. And she's not gonna call any and any nurse, she's gonna call Patrice, the nurse who has Mrs. Jones. And I, she's going to get my name, my full name, and document that she gave the report to me that this is a critical lab. And so, in turn, to cover my back, 
I have to get on the phone and there's a time limit in this epic documentation. How long it takes me to talk to the doctor and maybe he wants orders and I will put it in the computer. So this time, it may not have been, sometime it's not a crit critical lab and the communication, by the time you get the doctor get the lab result, comes up normally. By the time the nurse check it, the other nurse may have already been infected. So I don't want you to think the hospital is just out there deliberately infecting nurses. No, they need you. They short. They want you to work. So, but what I really want to come out here and tell you nurses just to protect yourself. I worked at a facility and I had to give meds and I had to do this and treatment and everything. And the water in the patient room wasn't working right. And I had to go two blocks up north to, to wash my hands with soap and water. I was using hand sanitizer every minute, every minute. And you know, this, these hand sanitizer, I think they have some that doesn't have alcohol in it, but the majority is very drying to your hands, but you got to use it. And I want you to know that because a lot of people don't understand this. This is a temporary fix. This is temporary until you can get to the soap and water, which soap and water is the best remedy. Best remedy. I'm not going to show you how to wash your hands because you know how to do it. That's nursing 101. And you pass. Or you're on your way. Because you have to think. Some of us nurses, we are single mothers. Some have husband that are home, not working. So you don't need to be not working. You need to work. So don't get yourself sick. Take your vitamins. Work at night shift can break your body down too. So you got to get your immune system up. Stay away from the donut. When you see somebody pick it up. And this one girl... I shouldn't say girl, lady. No, they may say I'm a girl, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so we was in, you know, the pharmacy, the pharmacy rep. That means outside company, their drugs, and they want to, you know, introduce it and give in service to the nurse because the doctor is starting that pre prescription on the patient. So they usually bring food. And so he said, Patrice, there's food in the back, food in the back. So I go in the back because, you know, I was feeling I need a little break and I need something. All I was thinking about was sweet stuff. But anyway, they had sandwich, so I didn't have to buy lunch. So I came in last and I was watching the nurse and she just, this is the sandwich y'all. She just grabbed the sandwich and look at it and she decided she didn't want it and she put it back in the thing. She ruined my lunch cause I don't want it now. I don't want it, I want it from the next batch in the administration room that's not open. Please. Please, nurses, please, people. You do that at home, but don't bring it in the hospital. Don't bring it in the workforce. Use a napkin. I was like, it, it's not only the nurse. It's not only in working. I was in the hotel. And you know the hotel, you get breakfast and everything. And they have the thing that you could pick up the bagel or pick up the donut or the muffin, whatever. And the man came and he just grabbed it with his hands. I didn't want nothing. What, what is up with that? Sometimes I don't use the, um, at the hotel, I don't use 
whatever they call it, the spout, whatever, somebody can tell me. I may take a napkin and then I'll grab the bagel. But I don't understand these people. They will pick up anything with their hands and sometimes they don't want it and they put it back. And I remember my mother usually tell me, if you didn't see them make it when you work when you working with people and you you know how they have potlucks and everything, if you did not see them make it, don't eat it. I only eat from people that I trust anyway. I don't eat eggs in the street. And that's no particular. I just don't like. I have a special way that I make my eggs. You know, scrambled eggs. I'm not running for the omelet. Not because I have to make it myself. So, those watery, yellowy eggs. So, I don't like when people forget that. they. I think they think that this, I'm home, this is my home, this is what I do. It's fine if it's your home, but other people have to go behind you and eat. Another thing, on the plane, coughing and sneezing and they forget that you're sitting in, in a crunch like this next to them. I'm not outing anybody. I'm just saying Nurses, you need to protect yourself. Wash, wash, wash your hands. And what they say, don't touch your face. It's true. Even when I was doing this, using the hand sanitizer, I didn't bother to touch my face or anything. And that's the time your face itches. And you just want to, like that. So get to a place, soap and water, wash your hands. I turned down an assignment because I didn't want to go back to the same place because I didn't figure out yet why I had to go two blocks up north to wash my hand with soap and water. And by the time I get in there, I have to touch the doorknob because, you know, keys to get in the door on site, everything is locked. And the patient room is the, the um, it was so messy. I didn't want to wash my hand there either. So, wash your hands. That's all I have to tell you. Be mindful of others. Be mindful of others. When you go home, you do what you do at home. But when you're in the street, you be discreet. Have a wonderful day or night in your state or your country.